is back. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Eh? Hi, everybody, and welcome to a live, unedited uh, reality recaps show where we're going to fill you in on live feed spoilers. What does live and unedited mean? It means I'm just going to take the show right like this, and I'm going to put it right on the website and right on iTunes, and you're going to deal with it not being edited. And it's more loosey and it's more goosey. It's an example of the shows that we do over on You Now. But look, if you want to see any of our shows back, you can check them all out over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash cbbus. You can check out Becca's blogs there. You can get the spoiler graphics there so you would know what the current status is in the house. You can get the flashback times there, which Jewel is doing. Amazing. If you guys don't have the feeds, get them from us at yourrealityrecaps.com slash feeds. Everybody that gets the feeds from us, by the way, and all the number one fans this month, you are all entered to win this amazing autographed Big Brother Survivor shirt signed by so many of your favorite Big Brother and Survivor players. Um, Rob Sester Nino, um, uh, who is on here? There are so many people on. Oh, Meg Malley, Morgan, Jason Roy. Jason Roy, who will, by the way, um, be on the show tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jason Roy will be joining us to talk Big Brother Celebrity. You get the point. Like, 30 people have signed this shirt. So anyone that gets the feeds from us using our link and the number one fans this month, you're all entered to win the shirt giveaway. Now, like I mentioned, uh, if you haven't, make sure you become a fan here on YouTube. Now you just go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now click on the become a fan button you get alerted every time we go live you get to participate in the chat room right now um old broad says eric i'm sorry you look like crap i have the flu but I'm still here. I'm still putting out the Ica shows I'm still trying to update you on the spoiler feeds we're trying to get the we're here it, John has no voice and can't talk. AB is getting her voice back, also has the flu. All of Reality Recaps has the flu, but we're all trying for you. <laughs> and BB can starts as well. Okay. Um, lastly, I should let you guys know, if you want 24-7 live feed updates, you know who else is working so hard for you? All of the live feed updaters. So make sure you guys follow... Um, um, on Twitter at CBBUS Live Feeds, plural. Those are all the live feed updaters bringing you guys 24 7 live feed updates. And of course, if you want to help um, pay our doctor bills, you should consider becoming a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Uh, you get access to the patron only shows, the patron only Facebook group, prize giveaways for patron, and it's what keeps us being able to do shows for you guys every single day of the week, or you could always do a one-time donation at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. All right, everybody. We need to talk Big Brother. Big Brother. And what's your Amazon link? Thanks for asking. Hey, by the way, Tara said, what's your Amazon link? It's yourrealityrecaps.com slash Amazon. I don't know if you guys realize this. Anything that you want from us is yourrealityrecaps.com slash whatever it is. So if you want our Facebook, it's slash Facebook. Twitter slash Twitter. Amazon slash Amazon. Feeds slash feeds. Big Brother 19 content slash BB19. Big Brother Canada 5 content slash BBCan5. Anything you want from us is yourallerycaps.com slash whatever the thing is. As a matter of fact, there's also one that is actually literally whatever the hell you want. There is literally yourallerycaps.com slash whatever the hell you want. I'm not sure where it takes you. Or maybe it's whatever the F-C-U-K you want. But either way, it goes somewhere. Anyway, I love all of you. We need to talk about the devil herself. I'm Rosa. Because Amorosa is a little... She's a vixen. All right, so look. So, when we last left off, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that don't know, when we last left off, um, <coughs> they have not... They have not played the HOH yet. So, we're like all up. We're like, ooh, let's see the fallout from... Let's look at the fallout from all the drama that happened now that Chuck went home and it was when Amorosa and Kesha... Look, I know her name is Keisha and I know I call her 2D. 
but now I just want to call her Kesha. Either way, I'm never going to call her Keisha, and I don't know why. I can't get her real name right, and I can't get her fake name right. Now I've been calling her Kesha all the time, and I don't know, but it's just what I do. Anyway, it's the fallout um, that we thought we were going to get, and they really didn't have any. Amorosa was just being her super shady self, where she would, like, have a conversation with Sharon, and, and she would be like... Hey, I mean, Shannon, why did I say Sharon? She'd be like, hey, Shannon, so remember how when you didn't want to come off as a huge raging bitch? Well, I just wanted to let you know that by doing this move, you kind of came off as the queen bitch, the mother load of the bitches. And I was just in my room thinking, hey, self, you know what's weird? Shannon didn't want to be a bitch, but she's coming off as the lord queen bitch of all the bitches that ruled over the bitch kingdom. So I just think that's kind of weird that you did that, Shannon. By the way, I'm not saying you're a bitch because I'm Amorosa and I'm trying to like regain my my image, but I'm just saying, your actions are that of a bitch. And since I formed the Girls' Alliance, it would be wrong of me to use the word bitch in a degrading way towards a woman, but since I am the biggest hypocrite in all of the land, I'm just gonna sit here and call you a bitchity bitch 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 to your face, bitch. And I'm like, Amorosa, you're just the one coming off looking horrible here in your condemning of Shannon. Just sitting there and like, just railing away. And, and by the way, Shannon took it great. Like Shannon just sat there and was like, mm-hmm, I'm Marissa, I am. You're right, I am. I'm the, I'm the queen of all. You're right, mm-hmm, I am. Yeah, I am, I'm the worst. So like, I'm Marissa, like took it uh, to that level. Shannon kind of wasn't having it. And then... You know, Amorosa said, I'm just reporting the facts, Amorosa was kind of like, no, I get it. You're going, you're going after the um, brown girls. So then Shannon was like, please don't make it about that. And Amorosa's like, that's exactly what I'm going to make it about. But then she kind of didn't, in, in all fairness, like she said that to Shannon, but then she didn't, from what I saw, she didn't kind of make it about that afterwards that I, that I saw. So then the like feeds kind of cut and then feeds cut and then we come back to find out Amaros is missing. She's in the hospital. Now there were several stories. There were several stories of what took Amarosa to the hospital. We heard things like um, Marissa threw a bowling ball at her. <laughs> And that was the one I hope happened. And I know you people like Eric, you are so mean. How could you wish that a bowling ball got thrown at somebody? Look, I wish a bowling ball got thrown at her. What are you all worried about? She's evil and evil doesn't die. So you could probably throw a flaming bowling ball with knives and she would just like get temporal and it would go through her and nothing would happen because she's the epitome of evil. But apparently that didn't happen. Then we heard like a tile fell on her head. I don't know where the tile fell on her head story came from. I don't even know why I was buying that as if there are just tiles floating around the backyard. I don't get it. Apparently what actually happened is she got too exhausted playing these games. She has asthma and she passed out. And not only did she pass out, but she passed out in her bowl arena outfit. Did I mention how this show was all spoilers? <laughs> If I didn't mention how the show was all spoilers, this show's all spoilers. Um, uh, she So she passed out in her, like, little tutu, and uh, then apparently when the paramedics took her, she demanded that the tutu be taken off because she didn't want to die in a tutu. Again, you can't die. You can't die. Whatever deal that you made or that your parents made, that you were spawned from the pits of hell that you birthed from, I you can't die. You are evil. You're like the first evil. It's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You're like the original evil of all of reality television. Like, you don't die. So, again, I don't know why you're worried about dying. Um... It's just so dramatic, so dramatic. And then, apparently, there were, like, other little, like, little rumors coming around where, like, some of the nurses in the hospital were saying stuff to her, like, oh, uh, you know, word has gotten out on the street that you're out of the Big Brother house already, and then apparently those nurses were moved. Look, number one, hospital staff is not getting moved around to, for a Big Brother game. 
No hospital director is going, oh, is there a nurse on duty who knows who Amorosa is? We're going to have to move her to another another wing in order to preserve the integrity of this Big Brother game. No, they don't give a shit. Okay? Now, is there going to be a producer with Amorosa at all times? Yes, there's going to be an, a producer with Amorosa at all times so that if some nurse were to come up to her and start saying something, I'm sure the producer would say, oh, we can't let her hear that information. Please stop talking. No nurses are being moved around or away from Amorosa. I don't know where that story came from. Um... It is true that she was able to talk to her husband. She was also able to talk to her publicist, which a lot of people seem to have a problem with. In all honesty, I can't stand Amorosa. I don't know if I can be any clearer on that. However, I'm fine with her being able to talk to her husband if she really was having some issue. Fine. I'm fine with her, you know, whatever talk to your husband. Again, I'm sure production would not let her say anything she wasn't allowed to say or him say anything. So is it unfair? It's unfair. Big Brother's unfair. If if any of us think Big Brother's fair at this point, it's not fair. So whatever. Let her talk to her husband. Okay. So Amorosa comes back into the house. P.S. came back into the house and made them bring her a change of clothes because she didn't want to be seen leaving the hospital in the Bolarina outfit. <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. So then, um, now Amorosa is back in the house, and guess what, everyone? Amorosa's had an epiphany. Now I'm going to tell you what happened with Keisha while Amorosa was out of the house. But first, I'm going to tell you what happened when Ke when Keisha when Amorosa came back into the house. Everyone, she her near death experience changed her whole life. She is a good person now. It only took her near-death asthma attack to make her realize how much this time in the Big Brother house has meant to her. And gee, golly gosh, she just loves everybody now. She just loves everybody now. And she's had time to decompress from her real life. And thanks to the Big Brother house, she's gone away from that big meanie Trump. She is away from the White House and Trump and publicists. And she's so happy now. And that near-death experience made her realize, praise Jesus, she's a new person. She is a new person. And we have to respect her for that. We have to respect her for being a new person. Don't worry. She's going to switch personalities in, ooh, four hours. Um, so... She is trying to convince Ross. Like, she's having a little heart-to-heart -heart with Ross about just, she's a better person now. And just she's here and this game is a gift and she's going to go out and be okay. And blah, 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 blah. Ross, you're the best. And Ross, you're playing the best game. And Ross, you're going to win. Ross, hold on. Okay, I'm done. Bye, Ross. So, just, oh my god, up Ross's ass. So then... Like, she goes to bed. Now, while she was out of the house, Keisha goes to Ross, and she's like, Ross, I was thinking about this. What if Amorosa was really in on everything with Shannon, and Amorosa is really the one pulling all the strings, and her and Shannon are really working together with James, and then they pulled the wool over her eyes. Now, good play. Good play, Kesha. I am on my knees praying for you. But why are you buying this, Ross? Because Ross is buying it. Ross is buying this scenario. Now, granted, well, Ross kind of buys it a little more after he comes out of the DR, which is also, I don't know, you Adela G, you say nice try, 2D, but let me tell you, Ross is, look, we're going to get into it because it starts getting very complicated in a minute. So Ross is like listening to this and he's like, maybe that is true. Like, maybe that is true with Shannon. Now, uh, uh, what's going against Shannon is, well, Amorosa was out of the house. All these people were really believing Amorosa was not coming back into the house. So while that was happening, all of a sudden Shannon started remembering a whole bunch of conversations that she had with Amorosa. You know, like, like the final two deal that she had with Amorosa. And just... 
all these fun conversations that all of a sudden, now that she kind of thinks maybe Amorosa's not coming back into the game, she keeps remembering. And everyone else in the Alliance is kind of like, ooh, that's super suspicious that you're just starting to remember all this stuff now that Amorosa's not here and you probably think she's not coming back. Seems a little suspicious. So Ross did have that in his head. Marissa had that in her head. PPS Marissa. Everyone, look. I like Marissa. I say this as somebody who has to do this show and tries to have no dead air. So I literally, my goal is to never stop talking for an hour. So I understand that I'm the person who's saying this sentence. Marissa, hashtag STFU Marissa. I can't. You don't take a breath. You don't, like, I love you, and I do like you in this game, and I want you and Ross in the end, but oh my god, girl, like, you don't stop. And you just don't stop for the most ridiculous reason. Like, literally, I watched Marissa do this. I can't even stand that I'm Rose in the hospital, and she goes to get her drip. <coughs> Sorry. She goes to get her drip, and then she just gets to sleep from her little morphine drip. And that is so ridiculous. And they just get to bring her meals, and they're, like, catered to her. And I think that is so ridiculous. And I think it's not fair, and I think that we should all get a drip. Anyway, I gotta go into the kitchen for a minute. Hi, Amorosa. Oh, my God. I was just telling everyone how much I think that you being in the hospital was so great for you. And I am so happy that you got to talk to your husband. And I just think it's the best thing that you got to talk to your husband. And you must have had a lot of great food. Why don't you tell me about all the food that you had in the hospital? All the food that you had in the hospital must sound amazing. I was just telling all the guys back there how much you must have had such a great time in the hospital and how I am your friend and we're friends and we're going to be best friends. And I think that we should just be friends together. Isn't that great? Hold on. I got to go back to the bathroom. Oh my god, everyone, I was just in the bathroom with Amorosa, and when I was talking to her in the kitchen, and she totally gave me an eyes, and Ross, you were not going to believe the shit that she said to you when she was in the kitchen right now with me, just two seconds ago, and I'm like, oh my god, Marissa, where the fuck is your off switch? You're too much for me. You're too much for me. And if you're too much for me, that's a problem. Like, you got real world problems when you're too much for me. Too much for me. I don't know what you're doing, but just too much for me. Okay. So then, in the bathroom, with Keisha, her and Marissa, they kind of start bonding. And Marissa believes the Keisha story that Amorosa was probably behind this and working with Shannon somehow. So now, Marissa is on board in wanting to not go after um, Keisha and Amorosa, she wants to now go after Shannon as well. So now Keisha and Amorosa and Marissa all want to go after Shannon by doing a back door. So they want, like what they hope happens is that one of them can win the POV. Brandy is also on board with this plan. The only person who might not be on board with the plan is Ari, but today's goal is is to get Ari on board with the plan. So, well, just hold on, because it flips around so much. If you think it's confusing when I'm telling you, like, it keeps it keeps moving all around. And Ross is not really on board 100% either. He's trying to fit... He realized it's going to make him a huge target. Okay, but now, while all these things are kind of floating out there, then Amorosa and Keisha are talking in the bathroom, and Amorosa starts slamming... Uh, uh, Ross, she's like, I'm not, I don't want to lose to Pillsbury Doughboy. And to Keisha's credit, she's like, you can't call him that. So thank you, Keisha, for taking a stand on Pillsbury Doughboy and not the rape of like 30 women, but whatever. Um, so she's like, you can't call him that. And to which I say, as a gay, I have no problem being compared to, like, the baker of delicious carb treats. Like, if my choice was like, ooh, you're the Pillsbury Doughboy, I'd be like, ooh, I make delicious buttery treats for people with carbs. It's better than being like, ooh, I'm Amorosa, she-devil from the pits of hell, dumpster fire, trash bag snake, who nobody trusts and shouldn't. 
who, if she was legitimately on fire on the side of the road, I would think twice before pissing on her because I would probably think this is a trap in which your body will open up, somehow suck my soul out from my body while I'm peeing on you, which will then wear my skin suit, walk around, and pretend to be Eric 2.0 slash Amorosa new respawn devil lady. So, I don't like her. She's the worst. If you believe one thing that comes out of her mouth, you're an insane person. It has nothing to do with anything else. It doesn't have to do with skin color, ethnicity, what show she was on, where she worked, who she worked for. Like, I don't care about any of that shit. Amarosa has been the devil for 10 years. Long before she ever worked for Trump, she's been the worst type of human for the past 10 years. Just go look at anything about her on YouTube. She's just the worst human. She doesn't care about other people. She will step on anyone to get ahead. And, and, and look, and I've said this before on this show, I'll give her credit. That's what you have to do. That Here's what I've learned during doing reality recaps. You want to get ahead and make money, you have to split the throats of everyone around you. You have to split the throats of other broadcasters. You have to stab people in the back. You have to steal events out from under them. You just have to keep clawing your way to the top, pissing. And that's not me. But that's how you get ahead. So that's how Amorosa gets ahead. It's unfortunately business. It's business. That's why they say it's not business. It's personal. It's not personal when Amarosa is stepping her flaming devil heel into your eye to catapult her that next ring up the level. It's just not. Did you know Brandy and Amarosa were in a celebrity apprentice together? Yes, and they hate each other. Do you know that the exact same thing as this asthma attack is the exact same thing that Amarosa pulled on Celebrity Apprentice, but with a paint can? When Amarosa had to go to the hospital because she got hit in the head with a paint can, and then guess what? She came back to The Apprentice, and she was a changed person when she came back to The Apprentice. Hi, Amarosa, we know you. We've seen you use this plot line before. It's not working. The worst. She's the worst. Ross has always struggled with his weight. He lost a bunch since his Leno days. Yeah, Lo Ross has always struggled with his weight. I, you know, it's hard. It, it It's hard. This season of Big Brother is hard because Amarosa has rightfully in her own mind brought it to be a political issues to the table. She has brought it to be, well, she's tried to make it be a race issue on the table. Like, I don't like race issue and political issue in my big brother. It's very hard to navigate around. And I get it. That's the real world. And we have to deal with it because it's the real world. But I just wish it wasn't in my big brother. And it's another reason I don't like Amorosa. She just wants attention. She wants attention. She wants headlines. And I am sure when she was out of the hospital, I'm sure she was filled in on, you got to be on CNN and you got all of your major news coverage and everybody's talking about you. I'm sure they filled her in on all of that while she was out of the house. All of it. So I don't, you know, whatever. I don't think it's fair. Um, Was Big Brother on last night? I was out of town. Denise... Big Brother was not on last night. And Denise, I don't know if you know this. You should, because you're in every show. But if you guys go to... <coughs> if you guys go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash CBBUS, halfway down the page, there's literally the schedule. I literally put the entire show schedule on that page for you. You guys just click it. It will pop it up. It will show you exactly every airtime of Celebrity Big Brother, when they are airing, for how long they are airing. Um, the whole entire season is there. Uh, so, you know, I didn't really appreciate her calling Ross Pillsbury Joe Boy, um, but whatever. It's part of the game. It, I think it's why a lot of us want Amorosa to stick around. So going back over now to upstairs, 
we don't really know where Raw stands. The last kind of conversations that I was hearing, everyone was together, minus Amorosa, minus Keisha, and Shannon was bringing up, well, what do we do? What do we do if the POV is instant and we have to make a decision? And she was like, maybe we put up someone in our alliance. And that must have just made Ross and Marissa so happy. But instantly Marissa was like, not it, not me, not doing it, mm -mm, not over here. No, 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 not going to be me. And Brandy's like, not me either, not me either. Now, Brandy is aware, like Brandy has had some conversations with Ross. So she's aware that maybe they should make Shannon the target. Obviously, Marissa is. So everyone is kind of like, let's see if we can just get Shannon to volunteer, which is what Ross should be doing. Ross should be trying to get Shannon to volunteer. Here's where Ross is failing. He's not doing the Vanessa strategy of I'm doing stuff for a reason. Ross is just kind of doing stuff and kind of being like, I'm half owning it. I'm half owning it. He needs to own it, but make it be for a reason that's not his fault. <laughs> That's what Ross needs to do. He's not doing a good job of convincing Amorosa and Keisha that it was, you know, not his master plan to get out Chuck, that it was Shannon's. They believe it was Ross's plan. So he's done a bad job of convincing them that it was not their plan. Amorosa even called him out on that and was like, you need to own that in the end. She's like, in the end, if you get to the end, that's going to be your point. It's going to make you win this game. You better say that was your move. So we'll see. Dance and Amy says Shannon will win the POV if she's pawned. You think? I don't know. I don't know if she will. I don't know. Get rid of Shannon, please. It will help him so much. Here's what I don't like about this season of Big Brother. I don't like that the jury is not sequestered. For the love of God, it's 10 days. You could have sequestered them. Now you're going to let them go home, watch everything back, People that don't understand the game, the Chucks, the Keishas, I don't care what Amorosa says, she is not a fan of this game. She's maybe seen like 10 episodes. Bullshit, Amorosa's a fan of Big Brother. I call bullshit. Anyway, these people are going to have their feelings hurt. They're not going to understand. They're going to be like, I can't believe Ross did that. And they're just going to believe whatever the edit is. They're not going to bother go back to watch live feeds. Any of the fans that are able to get through to them are going to be able to show them the clips that they want that support their theory. Like, look, Chuck, here's Ross saying blah, blah, blah about you. Proof that he was there. You're just literally letting the public control it. So you might as well not have them vote and just let us vote. If you're not sequestering them, you might as well just let us vote. Because that's who's going to control the vote now. Um, just because they're celebrities does not mean they can change the rules. I have news for you. They can change the rules whenever they want. Here's the biggest misconception about Big Brother. People think that Big Brother is a um, is a competition show that has to follow standards and practices. Uh, it is not, and it does not. Big Brother is a reality television show. They are allowed to do whatever they want. Producers have the right to change the rules at any time. It's in your contract that you signed. They can they can do anything they want at any point that they want and change any rule at any time. It is not like Survivor, where there has to be lawyers and standards and practices and make sure that the competitions go by. It's a reality TV show like the real world, where they can interject anything they want into the game to mix it up. They don't talk about it a lot, but it's what it is. It's what it is. Um, the season is also about getting summer ra ratings back up, so they don't really care about the rules this season. I don't know if that's true. This season is about competing against the Olympics. It's about having something on television to combat the Olympics. Um, they have not eaten slop yet. No, they have not eaten slop yet. I completely agree with that. Destiny says, most of them are care about making good TV. I think they will vote for who the fans want to win and keep us happy. No, I totally hear you on that, Destinies. However, you think somebody like Chuck is going to understand what the fans want? He's going to understand what the fans who are able to get what they want in front of him to understand. You get like I I'll use the Alex. 
I'll use the Alex example. Alex hates us, hates me, thinks I'm the worst. Because fans told her I was anti-Ball Smashers. Not that I was anti-Alex or ever said anything bad about Alex, but people were able to get to her and be like, don't do your reality recap show because he hated the Ball smash." It's going to be the same exact thing when these people get out. The people that can get to the people and be like, don't do it, don't vote for us, he said this about you. Those are the people, in my opinion, that are going to control the vote. Yes, Alex BBOTT. I'm sorry, Alex BBOTT. Um, do you care what Alex... No, no, I don't care what Alex thinks at all. I'm just giving you an example because people aren't understanding the correlation with it being a reality, a celebrity. So I'm saying, here's it on a scale that we've experienced recently. There's an example. Um, Meta doesn't even understand how voting works. No. <laughs> <laughs> Another part that you guys missed after the live show, Meadow was like, I voted for Chuck to stay. I don't understand. <laughs> and they were like, um, Meta, your vote is who you want to leave the house. And he's like, well, they didn't explain it to me. They didn't explain to me. Well, Meta, you didn't take a beat. You literally, this was literally Meta. He sat down. Hi, Julie. I just want to say that I love you, honey, and happy Valentine's Day. Here's my thing. Anyway, I'm voting Chuck. Bye. And left. And Julie was like, Meta, I just, what? It, oh, he's gone? Okay, well, okay. Uh, Meta votes for Chuck, I guess. <laughs> like, he didn't even let Julie take a beat. So, like, what does he expect? Uh, it's the best. Today, he's wearing his boxer shorts on his head. We don't have a clue what Meta is, what Meta is doing in, in that house at this point. Um... A lot, a lot of them think, uh, Marissa was saying how she thinks that he's America's player, that doing stuff like messing up the vote, wearing the shorts on his head, all that stuff is because he's America's player and those are like tasks for him. That is interesting. I'm actually surprised they didn't do um, an America's player type of a thing this season. You know what else I was confused about? I was looking at the rooms in the house we do have a have not room, don't we? Cause we have we have this stupid room. We have this stupid room. Hold on. Uh, let me just do it like this. We have this room, which is the room right outside the storage room and the diary, the storage room and the diary room, and then that's across from the disgusting green room. What's in the room behind that room? The room behind that room is nothing, right? So would that be a have not room? Why haven't we implemented the have not room or slap yet? No, the workout room is upstairs. That's the Tiffany room. No, the Tiffany room is on is next to that room. The Tiffany room is next to that room. Thank you guys for the bars, by the way. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Shannon, for the bars. I very much appreciate it. There is not a have not room. Have they come out and said there's not a have not room? Like 100%? There Have they come out and said 100%? Yes, it's the Tiffany room. The Tiffany room is the green... The Tiffany green room is the have not room. I get that part. That's the room next to the room I just showed you, like the California room. But isn't there always also a room behind the California room? It's the room with the grass? Why do I not know what room this is? Oh, so there is no room there this season. Okay, so I'm not wrong. The California room is where the have not room was for BB19. No, it's not. <laughs> The California room is the open room. This is what I'm calling the California room. Look. This is what I'm calling the California room. I know I'm correct. Thank you, Maximus Mom. Is that not the room that's out in the middle? Like, across from the storage room? We need blueprints. <laughs> no, the... Oh, there's a red carpet room. I'm thinking that's the red carpet room. That's why I'm getting those two rooms confused. Okay, so then there are three bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. So the red carpet room is the room next to the 
storage room where the car is on the wall. The room behind that room is the California room, and the room next to that room is the Tiffany room, which is why we have no have not room. Yay, we figured it out. All right, so what are they doing slot? <laughs> so everyone gets a bed. Right, right, right. Okay, um, when are we doing slot? Do we think that we'll do it after this POV? Did Marissa tell about the backdoor plan? Yes, Marissa told Ross about the backdoor plan. We don't know what Ross is ultimately going to do yet. They're still having tons of conversations. Ross is, the last I have heard, Ross thinks it is a good idea to get rid of Shannon. He also thinks it's making him a huge target. He wants to wait until after the POV, which he believes is being played today. He, They all believe, this is why I thought the POV was happening today, is Ross and all them were having conversations being like, they told us the POV was this afternoon. Oh, we got to be ready for the POV this afternoon. So I thought the POV was this afternoon. I forgot that Julie said the POV was live. I thought, I didn't forget. I thought she meant the POV ceremony. I didn't think she meant... The, P the actual POV would be live. So it's going to suck for Ross. He's going to have to, you know, figure it out. I got news for you. I, 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 Shannon does annoy me. <laughs> I gotta say. <coughs> Shannon annoys me and Marissa annoys me. I didn't think either one of them would annoy me. But they both kind of annoy me. I almost like, now I don't like Amorosa the person. Amorosa the person is the worst. I don't know how much clearer I can be on this. But as far as being in the house goes, I actually prefer Amorosa in the house over Shannon and Marissa right now. She's less in-house annoying to me. Which is shocking. I can't believe me. I, I hear the words when I say them and it's shocking. Um, You like Ari and Brandy. I got news for you, Denise, baby. I, I freaking love Brandy. I could not stand Brandy on Beverly Hills. I couldn't stand Brandy. I like Brandy. I feel like I understand Brandy more now. I literally feel like I understand Brandy, the human being, more now by watching her on this show. And Ari, I thought was going to be a wet noodle. Like, I thought she was going to be someone who had no... I thought she was going to be Veronica. Victoria. <laughs> I thought she was going to be Victoria, Derek's Victoria. I am floored how good Ari is at this game and what she knows and how she wants to make moves. And I, I think she's being amazing this season. So the people that I thought going into this house where I was like, oh, I'm not going to like Brandy. I'm not going to like Ari. I love them. People I knew that I would love, like Marissa, like Shannon, I'm kind of like, uh, you have a really grating personalities. And some of their conversations, oh my God, James and Marissa together is the worst. James and Marissa together, when they're just like... Oh my god, I have the new self-driving Tesla. And I was just like, I can't even believe how great the new self-driving Tesla is. And James like, I don't know. I don't want to like sit on a battery. Like I read so many studies that were like, if you sit on a battery for like a self-driving car, like it's like good for you. And Marissa's like, I tell you no. Like my friends, they send me pictures and they're like in their Teslas and they're driving and they're eating sandwiches. And James like, oh my god, the armors. And I'm just like, oh my god. Why is this on every fucking feed? And I have a fever. And I don't know where the remote is. But I'm pretty sure that I have fever dream died. I'm in a ring of hell. And I just have to listen to Marissa and James talk to each other. James has such a huge ego. He doesn't know who Beyonce is. You sing! You're a singer! You don't know who Beyonce is? You're canceled. 
you, <laughs> you're canceled. You don't know who Beyonce is. You've never listened to a Beyonce album before. You, James Maslow, have managed to miss the entire, if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. If you like it, then you better put, oh, oh, oh. You missed that whole thing. That whole thing is gone. You never saw a parody of it. You didn't see Justin Timberlake doing it. You've missed all Beyonce, James. You've missed, I don't know, I guess she's okay. I guess I'll listen to her album. Eat a dick. Oh, I bet you never heard of Ika Wong either. Oh, no, you didn't. Which is why she hates you. Oh, my God. And he was like, the DR uh, totally asked me to go in. And, like, they were like, James, you, you know, if you want to do the DR without your shirt on, you totally can do the DR. Like, I'm just saying, like, people would like to see me in DR without my shirt on. Go eat a dick now. Yes, I wanted to see you all greased and oiled up in your hot muscle body. But now I don't want to see it, you big douche, because I forgot what a big douche you are. So now take your big, stupid, greasy, disgusting body and don't put a ring on it. <laughs> oh, Nurse Finn, you like him? He's so douchey. Like, here's the difference. There is no difference between James, well, I mean... There is a difference between James and Amorosa, but their snake oil salesman y manipulative personalities. It's like Amorosa is just a more refined James. Like Amorosa can look at you and lie directly to your face and convince you of it. James is looking at you and lying to your face, but he has to talk slower because he's thinking of the lie or what you need to hear in order to convince you. That's what James is like. Like, he's not quick enough or he's like the bootleg version of Amorosa when it comes to lying and manipulating. But don't get it twisted. He's lying and manipulating. He's in a boy band, for God's sakes. A boy band. Oh my god, and Marissa gave his exact address. <laughs> like literally. <coughs> I swear to God, if you go look at my tweet or you go look at um CBBUS live feeds and you go look at when we both tweeted that out earlier today, just go back to that timestamp, rewind five minutes. Uh Marissa literally tells you exactly where he lives. Like street names like the park that he goes to when he's hiking, like the restaurants he eat at, and like his like literal house number. <laughs> she might as well have drawn the map to James's house. James literally was like, uh, cameras, and Ross is like, you can't say where we live, and then like the feed's cut. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's probably a lot of people at his house right now. <laughs> Is like a lot of people at his house right now. Uh, it is the best. It was the best. Diane says, I nearly fell out of my chair at that. It was the best. I was like, oh, damn. Uh, I thought that they could edit the feeds. No, the, you know. It, what's odd to me is all morning, it was so annoying. Because like I said, I've been uh, fluey and in bed a lot. Um, I couldn't find the remotes. Like, I couldn't stop it or mute it or put it. they kept going to feeds like every two minutes we were on feeds for like 10 minutes feeds for five minutes. we'd get like three minutes of conversation and then cut to fish and i'm like oh my god this is so annoying yet they didn't cut that <laughs> they were like no i'm just gonna leave that in made no sense uh what did i say i didn't say fish i don't know what i'm saying the teenage lineup is on washington avenue right now yeah pretty much <laughs> Eric, imagine if Leah Michelle was on B, she would be exactly like Marissa because she talks a lot too. I don't know, maybe, I get. I mean, I think I would be too, I don't know. I would like to think I could in. Like, Marissa just talks for no reason. Oh, well, here's another thing that floored me. She went to Ross after she had the conversation with Keisha and Keisha basically, you know, convinced her maybe Amorosa was behind it. Maybe we need to work together. Maybe Shannon's the person that we go after. Here's what floored me about Marissa. She went to Ross and literally, she like low-key threatened Ross. She went, 
just so you know, for your future plans going forward, I won't be lying to Keisha. And I was just like, I would have been like, then maybe you're going to go. Because I don't know if you forgot what game you're playing, but we're playing the lie to everybody game. That's what this game is. We're playing the lie to everybody game. But she like flat out said to Ross, she was just like, I... I'm not, I'm not lying to Keisha anymore. So just factor that into all of your plans. I'll do whatever you want me to do. But when it comes to Keisha, I'm not lying to her. Now, that might be because um, Marissa is, I would say, the person who is the most sensitive in the house to Omarosa saying that the white people in the house are going after her and Keisha and Meta. I feel in the conversations that Marissa has had, she's most concerned with that affecting her image. She always seems to be super... just, like, she's careful of anything that she can say or anything. So, I would assume the reason maybe she's saying I'm not going to lie to Keisha, I'm not going to go after her, is in her mind, her trying to, like, fight that edit. So, like, she can come out and be like, I was friends with her, so obviously that's not true. I said I would never lie to her, and if I was racist, then obviously I would have lied. Like, I think it's Marissa trying to, in a way, control the narrative that will happen with her when she gets out of the house. She's being very, like, image conscious in a way that Brandy's like, that's not what it's about for me. There are just three people, like, there are three people that decided to work together, and they're not on our team. So guess what? We're going after you. Which is what it is for all of them. I mean, like, Ross, I really feel like Ross said it best. He was like, I didn't say Amorosa was homophobic when she was targeting me he's like she's targeting me because that's the game and i think that's kind of it like i think ross like got it down ross ross got it and but i mean again and i agree with you max mom i, I love brandy in this game i lo i almost hope this show gets brandy back on housewives i freaking love brandy now i think she's definitely an alcoholic like no joke uh, two glasses of wine sends her to a place that's not right. I don't think she should have alcohol at all, in my opinion. But other than that, I, and she doesn't need it. She's hysterical without it. She's just as combative without it. She's not a person that needs alcohol to make good TV. She can make great TV without any alcohol. So, um, I, I, I wouldn't even worry about it. She is friends in real life with Shannon, and she's lying to her. Mm, I don't think she's friend that friendly in real life with Shannon. Shannon and Marissa are real. They, I wouldn't say they're real life friends. I'd say they're friendly. I mean, uh, Shannon lives in Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> which is not South America, which is connected to us. Sorry, that makes sense <laughs> to regular viewers. <laughs> oh, good, I got it right. Yes! Um, Longtime Housewives fans, and I'm really enjoying her, too. Well, good, I'm glad that you're really enjoying her. Um, You guys, um, go ahead, chat room, I'm sorry. I kind of feel like that's all of the live feed stuff. Um, But you guys, if you have questions, go ahead, put them in the chat room. I will try and answer your questions. And patrons... I am going to go live for you guys. We'll do a patron after show after this show. So also patrons, I'll see you in the patron group when this show um, ends and we will continue and have a patron show. Um, uh, they work together in the past. Yeah, they just work together in the past. I think it's the alcohol slash Xanax combo for Brandy, says Sinatra's mom. It very well could be. It very well could be. Um, I knew Brandy would be good feeds. How could you not know that Brandy is going to be good feeds? Of course Brandy's going to be um, good feeds. What are your thoughts on Lady Doritos? Okay, Powerwolf, I don't know what that has to do with Big Brother. Number one. 
Uh, number two, there's not going to be anything called Lady Doritos. Doritos has come out and said they already make Doritos for ladies, and they're called Doritos. So good job, Doritos. Now I want Doritos. Did I mention it's my birthday in... Lin where's Lindsay? It's my birthday in nine days, and I like Doritos. Do not... I'm kidding. <laughs> I do not want Doritos. Please, for the love of God, nobody send me Doritos. <laughs> um, do you think once Ross gets Shannon out, Brandy and Ari... Brandy and Ari will work with James or Mark to get out Ross and Marissa? Ooh, that's a good question, Lawson Concurs. Okay, hold on. Do I think once Ross gets Shannon out that Brandy Ari will work with James or Mark? No. No. Ross's um partner because we also learned on the feeds that they are not married and that whatever so ross's partner what's his name sal salvador sal salvador is brandy's makeup artist oh they just left that out didn't they so i do not think that brandy and um ross will be going against each other they, a stylist, makeup artist, whatever. They have that kind of understanding with each other. I don't... Uh, yeah. I think Brandy and Ross have a final two as well. That actually would not surprise me. I think Ross has a million reasons to get rid of Marissa. I also love how... how here, this is what enrages me about Marissa, ready? <laughs> this is what enrages me about Marissa. This is literally her in the kitchen with everybody. So, guys, I'm not in, like, any final twos. I'm not in, like, any final twos with anybody, like, at all. No final two deals. And Ross is like, all right, well, I'm going to take a shower. Okay, bye, guys. Marissa's like, all right, friend, I'm going to come with you. Let's go together. Hold the hand. Okay, let's skip to the HOH room. Skip to the HOH room. We're going to the HOH room together, everybody. Okay, now nobody come up. We're going to lock the door. No reason. No final two deal. Not having any conversations up here. We're just hanging out. Two friends hanging out together in the shower. Okay, bye, guy. She could not be any more obvious. Like, couldn't be any more obvious. Like, she is, like, glued to Ross. Glued. And your fake hair. I can't. I can't with your fake hair. You don't need it. Just because that was your hairspray hair, you can rebrand yourself. Like, you're good. You don't need to pull out that suitcase of curly dead rat hair and clamp it into your short regular hair. Just go with your short hair. It's real cute. You look good with it. Stop putting on the giant hairspray hair. Like, we get it. You're from Hairspray. We know. Just do your normal hair. I, I don't understand girls and clipping hair anyway. I'll never understand it. Um, Marissa will turn on Ross by next Friday. Marissa will turn on anybody. I don't think Marissa is loyal to anyone in that house. Marissa is trying to ride the middle, stay in the middle, deflect the drama away from her whenever she can. She is going to try and and, and, and do that as much as she can. Um, she had cancer. Yeah, I know she had cancer, but she still has a full head of beautiful regular hair. So I just, my whole thing is I don't understand why... Like, she hates the hairspray hair. I think she's doing it because she wants it to remain similar with her hairspray look. Like, she knows that people know what she looks like from hairspray. So I think she's just trying to carry over the hairspray look. Like, she doesn't want to part from her hairspray image, is what I'm saying. She can't stop the beat here, correct? Um, she has wigs fully off and it isn't much... So well, maybe what I've seen then is not... Maybe then what I've seen is in um, production is making her wear it. Did she say that? Oh, I guess continuity. Once you start wearing it, you once you start any look in the Big Brother house, you can't change that look until the editing week is over. And on this seat, robot. Really? Okay. All right. Hold on. Um, hold on then. Uh, once you end. Like, once a week ends in Big Brother, 
then uh, you're allowed to kind of change your look and stuff, is my point. How is that? How is that? I'm sorry. For those people watching it back, we had a small you now hiccup. Is it good now? Better. Yeah, I can't. It's not me. It's you now. I don't know what to do. I suggest you write to you now customer service and say, if you can't handle this many people in the show, you have a problem. Put your people on it and figure out why you can't handle a room with so many people in it. All right. Does anybody else have any questions before we wrap up this show? Um, does anyone have any questions? I like Marissa and her hair. Jennifer Grey got rid of her dirty dancing look and look what... And look what it got her. Nothing. She talked bad about Jennifer Gray. Uh, is Zingbot going to make an appearance? Yes, Zingbot will make an appearance. How is the Chapstick doing? Chapstick's doing great. All right. I think you guys don't have any more questions for me. So um, I'm not going to... I'm just ending the show for the YouTube people. You now people. You hang tight. I'm not going anywhere. Just reminding everybody that if you like these shows and want to watch them when we do them live, hang out in the chat room. Make sure you go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now and become a fan over there. If you want to watch them back after the fact, go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash CBBUS. Check out our blog, spoiler graphics. Get the show times of When Big Brother's airing. Everything that we do for CBBUS is over there. Of course, follow at CBBUS live feeds on Twitter for 24-7 live feed updates. And if you want to help support our shows, consider becoming a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Or you can always do a one-time donation at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. I will see you guys all tomorrow night, 7 p.m. with Jason Roy, where we really get into all the gameplay this season. See you guys then. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.